made it to San Jose, but guess what? I'm kind of stranded here for, for a couple of days. Um, so long story short, yesterday I arrived here in San Jose to pick up my daughter and I parked at the Target to let the dogs get out and do their business. I looked up at my RV and I saw part of the roof sticking up. I'll insert a picture here if I get around to it and remember. But anyway, I was looking up at the roof and I was like, what in the world is that? It looked like some of the um, fiberglass sheeting was lifted up. I mean, while I was driving yesterday, I did come through some really heavy winds and there were some really strong gusts. So I think that's probably what did it. Um, but anyway, I had a guy, well, long story short, I won't bore you guys, but I had a guy come out today to look at it and he climbed up there and said it wasn't as bad as he thought it had been. I had sent him a picture, the one that I took yesterday, and it looked pretty bad from down below, but from up above, he took this picture and sent it to me. So it doesn't look too bad. Um, he was afraid he was gonna have to repair the whole front part of the RV. Um, because yeah, this, the fiberglass was literally lifted up and I'm seeing weird glares on the screen. I don't know if that's actually a reflection on my camera or if it's gonna be in the video. But anyway, I'm kind of sitting here at an intersection, so don't mind that if you see lights in the background. <laughs> but um, so yeah, he came out today, looked at it, said he thinks he can get it done tomorrow. He's gonna come back at 11 o'clock in the morning and patch it up. It looks like it was previously patched and whoever did the previous job did some really shoddy work because <clears throat> the front of the RV has this cover on it and they had taped the patch over that when it should have gone under it. So he's gonna do it the right way and hopefully I won't have this issue again. But it's, it's such a bummer because I was hoping to be driving and on my way back to Nevada today with my daughter. So we're kind of stranded here. She's got some business she's taking care of this afternoon. So I'm sitting out here in the RV with the boys. If you can see, Chase is over here with me, keeping me company. Right, baby? Let's see if you can see Chase. There he is. And there went and... Keeping it real, guys. All right, we're back. We'll see how long this lasts. Every time a car or truck drives by or somebody walks by, they're gonna bark. So we're gonna try to do this van lifestyle video and see did I say van life? <laughs> I keep doing that. I mean RV life style video. But I just thought I would do a quick video while I'm in here and uh, hopefully I'll get it up soon. I actually just posted a short to update you guys and let you know that this week's episode was going to be slightly delayed. <sighs> you just gotta go with the flow sometimes, don't you? So anyway, I just brought a few things with me because I didn't think I was gonna be on the road this long, but I thought I would share these with you real quick. If you guys have heard of a Zoom Loom, this is something that I did on my Zoom Loom a few months ago, actually. So actually these little squares were done on my Zoom Loom and I just brought them, I had, I had them all stacked up and I brought them with me. And I decided to seam them together. Each side is different. So both sides have the zoom loom squares. And I seamed them, I seamed them all together. 
and then I folded it in half. That's enough, Dino. That's enough. Come here. Hang on. Pit stop. Pit stop. Let's... Uh, come here, Dino. There we go. Here's Dino. We're going to try this again, guys. I honestly don't know if this is going to work. But I'll post it anyway. We'll see how far we can get. Um, <sighs> so... I got the side seamed up. And then I actually did some crochet across the top, all the way around. As you can see, I still have to weave in all these ends. That's a nightmare. I hate weaving in ends. That or maybe I will decide to put a liner in it. That's an idea. If I line it, I won't have to weave in the ends, right? <laughs> But anyway, guys, this is my bag progress so far. So I still need to make a handle. And I'm going to try to work on that a little bit this evening. Um, what else did I bring? I thought I would probably finish that while I'm on the road. I also brought that little doll dress or skirt that I started. And... So far, I've got the waist done, but I thought I would be able to work on that while I'm sitting in the RV at night. Yeah. I did the waistband with the white, and then I added this purple, this lilac, this really pale lilac color, and I'm going to use that for most of the length of the skirt. If you guys missed my previous video, if you guys missed my previous video, I showed you the doll that I'm making this for. I'm going to stop the video again. So that's really the only whips that I brought with me was this little doll skirt work in progress. And the patchwork bag made out of my Zoom Loom squares. I brought my crochet hooks. Oh, and then from my last trip in the RV, I had some yarn stored up here and I actually pulled that down. And this is what I showed when I did my short just a few minutes ago, when I posted my update on the channel to let you guys know that this video would be delayed. So I was like, thank goodness I brought some yarn actually found it up there in the cubby from my trip that I took like three months ago. So if I get the handles done on the bag and if I get the skirt done, I can start knitting with these. Not sure what I'll make with them yet. Um, this is Noro. This is Noro Silk Garden. And it doesn't really have a color name. It just says color 507. And then I do not remember which yarn this is. I think it might be a Malabrigo. Malabrigo Rios. I don't quote me on that though, guys. Don't quote me on that. But I think it might be Malabrigo Rios. Yeah. So we've got knitting. At least there's that. And I brought everything in my handy dandy camping bag, camping knitting bag that I got from Knitter's Nook on Etsy. I love this bag so much. It's got a little strap, um, zippered top, zippered opening. And I shared this when I opened it on a previous video, in case you guys missed that. But, um, my daughter's dog. Oh my goodness. He's a little Pomeranian, and he is in his crate right now, so... Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, I hope you guys enjoy this crazy RV lifestyle video. Um, 
I don't really have much else to talk about right now because I haven't really had time to work on any of my knitting because I've been researching mobile RV repair places to get somebody out here to look at the roof. So um glad the guy was able to come out today and at least give me a quote. And like I said, he should be back tomorrow morning at 11. He said he doesn't think it's going to take more than a couple of hours to fix um, that. And I also did a boo-boo to the RV when I parked at Target yesterday. I was under a tree and I left my vent, uh, the cover on the vent in the bathroom was up. And when I pulled out, I forgot to put it down and I literally ripped a hole in the cover. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and call this a video because I don't think there's any way possible to get <laughs> any more video done without hearing these guys in the background. I apologize if these, <laughs> if these boys make your dogs go crazy. Um, that said, I'm going to go ahead and sign out. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you enjoy seeing a little bit of the clips from my road trip yesterday. Well, I did a few videos from the actual road, just driving in the RV, holding my camera up to the window. So I hope you guys enjoy seeing the scenery that I drove through the last couple of days. And um, I will see you again in the next video. The next episode will be next weekend. Fingers crossed, as long as everything goes well, and hopefully it will be more of a normal video again. But I hope you enjoyed this little RV style video, and I will see you guys again. Here he goes. See you in the next video, guys. Bye. Yeah. Happy, knit Happy knitting, guys. Bye. And if you're still here watching, I appreciate you more than you will ever know. I hope you enjoy these clips from the road, and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye! last night right next to a train
What are you doing? <coughs> Chase. <sighs> what are you doing, guys? <coughs> what are you doing, Dino? <coughs> nightmare. It's become a nightmare, hasn't it? <coughs> Yeah.